All right, everybody, I'd like to welcome you guys back to another episode of John Does Stuff. So, of course it is my luck. I have a sinus infection that went behind my eye, so now I have a eye infection and my face is swollen. So, not going to be any video of me on this one intentionally, but if you touch my face, just know that I have a sinus and eye infection. All right. What we're going to be doing today is unboxing a Jackery outdoor battery backup. This is for an upcoming project. So we're going to be setting up on a lot. We're going to, be, we're going to have a remote security system. And for that, I need constant power. To get constant power without a utility, obviously we need solar, and solar on its own is not good enough, so we're, we need solar and a battery backup. So the Jackery, this is an automated solar input. This kit here, this comes with the Jackery main unit. This was the 1000 watt kit. So, let's see. Wall charger. See if anything specific here is on the box. So, yeah, right here. 1000 watts, 1002 watt hours. Okay, and this is uh, intended to be used with their solar panels. So, from what I understand, not having taken a look at, it, at this yet, I'm kind of experiencing some of the uh, intricacies. Reason I picked this thing up was the ratings for this type of solitary unit. They, the Jackery has very good warranty and very good ratings. I'm already impressed with the packaging. Let's take a look in here. I'm gonna assume some cables, charger to charge the unit. Obviously we're intending to use a solar. There's, a, there's an automotive charger and a wall charger. They both use a very, very hefty barrel plug. I like this bag. It's a nice plush padded. There's an additional, it almost, uh, not quite a neoprene wetsuit feel, but something in that, in that vein. It's not a, a really a chintzy bag. And then this is a parallel solar panel adapter. So, the one concern I have is with uh, people buying this and trying to use it with other solar panels. So we might do some experimentation in the future to see if we can adapt a cheaper off-the-shelf solar panel. Because it looks like they go from the barrel plugs of the solar panels to a straight-up positive-negative terminal. So. It's so, and we'll have to know to yeah. I have the the screw kit. We'll see if this is just wiring or if there's any brain boxery in here that's gonna determine whether it'll like interface or see a different solar panel that doesn't have firmware or BIOS or anything running on it. So. Really nice user manual. This one, like I said, is part of the kit. So the kit itself comes with two panels. What's included, capacity. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at what the charge level is and the inputs. So these are outputs, inputs, Ooh, not a, a cheap 
cover. This is a very thick, I kind of can't even pull it or stretch it. The uh, screen cover, screen protector for this thing is very rugged, so if you wanted to leave it on and just deal with this. So we, we have AC and DC power. We have a flashlight on the unit, push button. So if you really need to, not super bright, but in the pitch black, I mean, it's gonna be better than nothing. Um, just turning that on, that, that flashlight, the display came on and this is half charged, which that's what I would expect of this type of battery. So from what I understand, let's see if we can see, okay, I can see some cooling fans on that side. And the other thing that these batteries, this backup system gets rated well for is the battery systems that they use inside are apparently quite robust. So we'll see, I don't see, let's see if it says anywhere on here. I'd heard mention that they use uh, Battleborn batteries, but it, this is a lithium ion battery. So it shows here it being used in, a, in the snow. And I live in the Pacific Northwest, so we're gonna have all kinds of weather and so this actually has Solar Saga, 100 watt, and then it has the operating temperature, minus 10, minus 65 C. The temperature range. And then the folded and unfolded dimensions. So. Normally the, the kit comes with a single panel, but since I do live in the Pacific Northwest, here, I, I had assumed, and we're gonna see when we, once we get this outside, I had assumed that a single panel, because of the uh, intermittent cloudy nature of where, where I live, that I know friends who have solar systems on their homes, and they do get a reasonable amount of, of return out of them, not a crazy high amount of return. So far, packaging quite nice. This is, ooh, nice. The, the panels themselves, they are magnetically held closed. This is a split panel with the, uh, these are coded individual panels, and these are four by four, so this is dual four by four. So each of these outputs 100 watts. And this is actually quite nice. So there's stands, captive stands on both sides of the panel, and I was wondering where the cables were. It looks like the cable, ooh, look at that. No way, actually, that's cool. You don't even need the, the main unit. The panel actually has outputs for USB and USB-C on the panel. So, we're gonna check that out outside and see. So it says right here, compatible with the Jackery Explorer, mobile phone, tablet, PC, and a Switch. It says game player, but it has a picture of a Nintendo Switch on it. So, straight out of the box, actually has outputs that doesn't require this so you can charge straight off of the panel let's go ahead get the other panel open and then let's see what kind of reading we're getting and then we'll transition outside
So, it's my intention to run an Arlo off of this, which if you're unfamiliar with, with the Arlo, uh, it's a base station style unit and each of the, the cameras themselves run off their own battery or they could be hardwired with USB. So I'm going to be hardwiring the camera so I don't have to periodically go and charge them. So basically, you pull the, this back off here, and then you have a built-in tilted solar array. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both of these up and then we're going to do this indoors for the first test and just see what this unit is outputting indoors and then see what our our change output is once we take this thing outside adapters and all the other cables with the panels or you can keep them in the bag they come with. I think I'm going to keep them with the panels because then it's as compact as it can be. There's enough room in the pouches that are attached to the back of the panels to be able to store the adapter with it. So This is a straight up black, black, red, red. Boom, barrel plug. Boom, plug. And let's see here. Display. We have an input, output, and a percentage charge. All right. Please, no judgment on the uh, setup out here. This is just a test. So, got the unit here, just set it right here, plug this adapter back in. So I just got these in a relatively uh, unshaded part of the yard because tree coverage here is quite good. Where I'm going to be putting it, I'm going to be raising these up. Okay, so now what are we getting? All right, so we're getting 33 is what I've seen it peak to, 35, 40, 43. So we should be peak uh, output is 200. And obviously, we're not going to get peak output because A, this is Pacific Northwest. Right now, our sun is basically directly behind the camera right now. So it is climbing, it's in the 50s. So let's see, let's see what a single panel. So immediately, it dropped down to 16. So this panel is. This is the, the back panel. That one's performing rather poorly. And then swap out front panel. They're actually performing about the same and it's very specific as to where the sun is moment to moment. So let's try by adjusting the angles a little bit. 
see if we can maximize. I want to see if this guy, or even a little bit of curvature. This one's already. So this is an issue that I'm not going to have on the actual deployment area. As I can see, there's some shadow here on this left panel. So we're out, we're getting about 50 watts right here, which is going to be plenty for the Arlo. I might also want to run a well off of this. That's where it's going to be kind of questionable, running a well pump. But the question is, right now, just setting it up, kind of a toss-up situ situation, might be able to get better sun down in the, in the pasture where there is no trees whatsoever. Let's see. So here, just in a mediocre setup, we're getting about 41 watts stable. Spiking up to 50 and down to 38. All right, I'm just going to give you guys kind of a view on where I have it set up now. Oh, I am so sick. Okay, so as you can see in the wide shot there. Now we're getting 120 watts, which this is more the setup we're gonna have when this is actually deployed. I'm gonna be putting this on a shed and these are gonna be on the roof of the shed above the tree line. So 120 watts average input. Man, I am cooking here. And show you guys the sky. This is a relatively clear Washington summer day. So, on a summer day, where I have the panels set up just so, they're not maximized in any specific way, the sun is kind of coming in at this angle right here. So let's see what kind of a, just a small tweak Yeah, it didn't really change the uh, input at all. <sighs> all right, so conclusion on this kit: fifteen hundred dollars for one thousand out, one thousand watts output, two pop-up uh, modular solar panels that are generating a uh, hundred and twenty watts on average. I am reasonably impressed that in Washington, in the Pacific Northwest, that I'm getting, so let's unplug one panel. Let's see what one panel is generating. So 87 watts off of a single panel. So out of a hundred, I mean, these are running it about 80 87 percent efficiency which is quite good and i am thoroughly impressed and the whole system can be carted around quite easily plug and play so i just plugged and unplugged that panel and then the wattage bounced right back up and don't be a bee, because I'm allergic to bees. But this is the impressive part about this system, guys. Is that just like that, I'm carrying an entire thousand watt system. All right, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe. If you guys want to stay tuned to see what I de deploy this on and some testing we're going to do in the future. 
then stick around.